hello, and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robin Sun. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you like this video. So um, today, and yes, it's been a while, today um, I wanted to show you this little folio thing that I figured out. Um, it's made out of just a regular eight and a half by 11 paper. And um, yes, this is American Imperial Measurements. If you have a, a metric piece of paper, an A4, the measurements aren't going to be terribly different it's a little longer and a little less tall, so I don't know. Um, you can maybe sort of allow for that at the bottom right here. Um, we'll figure that out what's the top. This long side is going to be the top, so the other long side is going to be the bottom. You could, you could take a bit of measurement out of the bottom and this right hand side could be um, where an A4 gets a little longer. So add whatever leftover measurement to the right hand side, not to the left hand side. Okay, so let me show you what we're doing first. Um, I put in, I hope the, the shadow is going to give that to you. Two little magnets. Listen. Click. I love that. And it opens up into a sort of T shape. And this also folds down. So over here we have a pocket with some little cards in it. And you'll see as we cut this that there are four little extra pieces of paper and I ended up just rounding the corners and using them as little cards. But um, I also used some cards from just stuff I have laying around. And I used a little postage stamp for decoration. I added a belly band and a little um, sort of notebook. I added a crosswise um, horizontal belly band here and another little notebook. Um, and then right here on this fold down flip, I added a notebook that I stapled together. I just cut the papers to fit so that when I folded them in half, they fit and I stapled it. And then this last piece of paper, I glued onto this flap. So that's how that gets there. And then on this down flap, I added two pockets and I ended up not using these little spare bits, um, mostly because one of them was I wanted a tall pocket and a short pocket. And so I ended up just finding other pieces of paper that could be, and I glued them in, you know, in a, um, U shape or a C shape of glue for the pocket and so I have space for a card and I'll just go all the way in and another little booklet. This is made out of a game card that I just had lying around and this was some paper that I had um, traced a pattern and then colored it in with crayon on brown paper and I cut that to size and then I made a little booklet out of this sort of parchmenty looking paper 
and I made the cover be um, tracing paper. And so one side goes over the top and it kind of protects this paper cut here. And the other side of the tracing paper, I um, glued, this is um, tape. You can maybe see that uh, double-sided tape. And I um, glued that to the card itself. So this binding actually isn't connected to the card. It's just that cover page. It's maybe not the most sturdy of books, but I really like the effect of the paper cut um, through the tracing paper. I thought that came out very nicely. And um, yeah, and then I added a little stacked bird here and I glued it so that it could be a tuck. This is one of my favorite little cards, Seven Crows on the Lawn in the rain. That happened last summer. It was very fun. It was really cute looking out my window, seeing the seven crows. So then, um, if this was a clock, this is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So first fold in 3 o'clock, then 9 o'clock, then 6 o'clock, and then click it closed. So let me show you how to figure out the cuts that I did. Now, this is what I did. You could shimmy these measurements around a little bit. We are going to cut four lines. And let's do, should I do yellow or orange? Well, orange isn't there. So I guess we're doing yellow. Okay, so we are going to draw four lines first. And if you have a scoreboard, use that. Um, but if you don't, you can just draw the four sort of um, structural lines first. So I want you to set up your paper. Horizontally, landscape wise, this is going to be the top and you'll notice that it has a skinny little box at the top. That's this flap. So that's the top at 12 o'clock. 3 o'clock has a little bit narrower space, which is why I said that um, if you have an A4 paper, you can add the extra space on this side because when we fold this, we have plenty of room right there to have it be longer if we need it to be. So we're going to draw this line right here at 3 and 3 quarters inch. And then or score it. Um, draw it with pencil if you're just measuring it to know where to fold things. And if you have a um, scoreboard, score it at three and three quarters inches. And then make a second vertical um, score or pencil line at seven and seven eighths. So there's the two vertical lines. Then we're going to turn it counterclockwise. The top of the paper is going to go from 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And we're going to draw a line. Actually, let's do this with a different color. And then we're all very clear. Maybe I don't have to do that. No, I don't have to do that. Let's just do that right here. This is um, going to be a line that gets scored or drawn at one and three quarters inch. And then we're going to draw a second line at five and one quarter. So if we have our um, paper structured set up so that it's going t 
tall portrait vertically. Um, you'll notice there are two lines that go this way and two lines that go that way. Okay. Now we're going to have a second set of lines that's going to, that will take into consideration. Um, I gave these folds some spine so that it didn't just alligator mouth open, you know, like if I hadn't given it a little spine there, but if it just went like this, then it gets full in the middle. And so it just, it comes open at a V, which I find less attractive, but whatever. Um, this just gives plenty of room on the inside to have these little um, spines there. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to draw here. These can be in green. We're going to um, actually, let's go back put the top back at noon at 12 o'clock. Um, I want you to, to, um, draw, we're good. Let's do these three quarter of an inch, uh, spines. So the first one, if we've got it like this in our scoreboard is going to be right here. And what you want to do is go to this three and three quarters line and take your scoring tool or measure and go two little bumps over. That'll give you a quarter of an inch. And you just want to make this score between these two central lines. Um, we are going to do this, but I'd have to show you that. And let's save that till later. Okay, then bring the top of your page back to nine o'clock. And I want you to do that same thing of just draw lines in between the central lines. We're gonna do a spine that's right here and that's a quarter of an inch spine. So it's two little divots over with your scoring tool and this is if you just sort of press into your paper, and I did this on cardstock and I could still feel it, although it is easier with paper. So you go dibbit, dibbit, and draw another score right there. All right. So now we've got a score on three of the sides. We need to do a score here. I made this score only an eighth of an inch because. I didn't want them all tall, then it would just be bulky at the top rather than... So this is just one little crease over on your scoreboard or an eighth of an inch. So that's right there. And draw this line all the way down to the bottom because this section folds up. Let me show you. This is how this goes. So this section folds up and it's got that nice big quarter of an inch spine there. And this section folds up and we want that space right here so that when this folds up, it doesn't bump into anything. And when this folds up, it doesn't bump. So we actually, are going to cut that space out. So that is this space right here. We're going to cut that whole thing out. You can do that now if you want, or you can save that for a minute. I want you to take the top of your card, this little skinny space. It's the skinniest of all the four branches of the T that we're making. So I want you to bring that 12 o'clock back around to nine o'clock. And we're going to measure this. My measurement for this little pocket that's right here is an inch and a half. If you want it to be a little taller or a little shorter, 
whatever you would like is the best measurement but I did it at an inch and a half and actually I'm going to mark that out with blue because it's a tertiary um, cut so then when we've got this marked out this little pocket that will fold up marked out then because this is folding up and we don't want it folding up into the spine this is also a little cutout space right there so we're going to end up cutting that out and now we can begin the cutting phase so I have already scored a piece of yellow cardstock right where I want it and the only place I sort of forgot was right there but we'll get there um, let's let's cut out our basic T shape so let's start up here at like 2 30 in the morning no not 2 30 1 30. um so right along those scores and when i scored this the score went all the way up to the top you want to you want to go all the way over past well it won't be there on yours because I told you a better way to do that so see let's do that this is our 12 o'clock spot the top and I've just cut out that square now I'm going to cut out this square I mean rectangle it's not a square And now I'm going to cut out this little skinny, skinny shape. Remember I showed that to you right there. that little skinny shape and now I'm gonna cut on this score and then I'm going to cut this is just a spare little card and this is going to be the flip up for that pocket and we don't want the spine there So once we get rid of all these little extra pieces, this will be what your shape looks like. Sorry, just wanted to check and see how many minutes we had. So um, let's fold this flip up. Now, I chose to put in a, a little book here. If you wanted to add maybe a little pocket there, you can add anything you want. You don't have to do it like I did it. And then on this one, oh, and on this one, I have this little skinny spine. So first the outer edge of the spine and then just sort of push it and you'll get that inner edge of spine okay. so we've got a nice little spine there and this also has a spine but this is one of the wider quarter inch spines so first fold the wide part and then you can kind of push it in to get the inside and there you've got that spine now this is going to be a pocket 
And so I took my glue and just glued right here and right here on the sides of what will be the pocket. Hold that, breathe, say hello to your angels. Hello, my angels. Um, oh, and then let's fold this in first the outside of that quarter inch and then kind of push it and get the inside. And then I'm turning this around. This is the top flap. So if I fold this up, and you'll remember on my white prototype, I added a belly band here, and I glued in a little pamphlet stapled book right here. You're welcome to add a pocket there or do it differently. But first we fold that up and in. And now we go over to nine o'clock and it's not sticking. It's also off a little. There we go. Okay. So fold in three o'clock and nine o'clock. And you'll see that this has the skinny spine and this has a little bit thicker spine. Then we fold up the top and um, fold up the bottom and fold down the top. And then we have a nice little pamphlet book. And you're welcome to add whatever kind of ephemera you have in your studio. Little books, little cards, little... Um, pictures of things like, like, a, um, you know, birds and butterflies and trees and flowers and whatever you have, whatever you like. And for this closure, you could also punch a little hole and, um, tie a little string to the hole. You might want to reinforce the hole, punch a little, you know, hole punch and glue it on there and then take a regular um, punch and punch a hole, tie a string, and you could loop it around and just loop it to itself. Um, yeah. So it seems like this is such a good shape for if you commute on a train or something and you get little ideas about how you could do a something, um, as you're traveling, this would be a pretty small, you wouldn't have to open it very far. You could just open it this far, have access to a card or the first little notebook and you could sit in the train and just kind of have this much space to be sitting in your lap while you're writing your notes, which seems to me in my days of commuting on trains, um, it's nice to have it all sort of small. Um, and then you can put it in a pocket or in a, you know, a purse or a computer bag or something and um, have all your ideas close to you. So I hope this will bring you joy as it brought to me. Um, I wish you much joy in your life. And many blessings of health and goodness and happiness um, because that's good stuff 
and it is readily available here on planet Earth, along with everything else that is readily available, which we're not talking about today. Um, so yes, I wish you goodness and health. I wish that to all of us. So I blow these blessings out across the planet. May all of us feel goodness and happiness. Have a good day. I'll see you. I'm sort of taking it easy on um, YouTube these days, so I'll see you when I see you next. All right. Bye.